Hi guys, uh, this is Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics Development and Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video, another video in our set of examples and, and hand calculations uh, dealing with hypothesis testing, is going to deal with another type of scenario. Uh, and before I tell you the type of scenario, well, we want to try to we want to try to extract the scenario from actually the example that's being provided here. Okay. Uh, once again, thank you to my colleague uh, uh, Stephen Walsh for providing these particular examples. Uh, he's given these examples out to students in exam. Uh, also as part of assessments and assignments and so on. Uh, so thanks for this, these, uh, these samples again, Stephen. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're just going to concentrate on this particular scenario. And, and like what I did in the previous uh, test, as for in relation to for us to develop a process that allows us to try to identify what type of test is being used or what type of test is required, uh, what we're going to do is we're just going to extract all the numbers out of the particular scenario and see how we get on with that, okay? We're always going to be trying to identify sample information and population information, if that makes sense okay so a US travel agency allocates its resources on the basis that 44 percent of its clients each year want to visit Europe in other words there's some travel agency in in, in the States yeah okay in the US okay and that travel agents that travel agents has a number of clients okay uh, and what it sort of what it sort of does is it puts 44 percent of its resources by uh, to cater for those clients that want to travel to Europe okay now they're wondering how accurate is that particular that particular assessment or that particular position that they've been taking yeah okay so what they do is uh, they've taken a sample of their clients okay so however in a recent sample of a thousand clients ho clients holiday plans 400 of these 1000 clients wish to visit Europe this year okay and the question that's been asked is this is does this suggest that the proportion wishing to travel to Europe has now fallen below the 44% that the that the company originally allocates with respect to resources. Test at the 1% level of significance. Okay? So what I said previously was, let's walk through the question again and let's just extract out all the numbers. Yeah. So we have a US travel agency allocates its resources on the basis of 44%. So there's a number. 44% okay, uh, of its clients each year want to visit Europe. Okay? However, in a recent sample, now this is sample information, in a recent sample of 1,000 clients, so that number there, 1,000, is my sample size. So that's my sample size, okay? okay? In a sample of 1,000 clients, 400, there's my another number, okay? So this is the number of favorables, okay? The number of successes out of the sample, yeah? That wish to travel, travel to, that wish to travel to, uh, wish to travel to Europe, yeah, okay? So let's say these are my sample successes, yeah? My sample, uh, my sample f uh, favorables or my sample successes, okay? So my sample successes, yeah, okay? I uh, wish to travel to Europe. Then it says, does this suggest that the proportion wishing to travel to Europe has now fallen below 44%? test at the 1% level of significance. So we have another percentage here, 1%. And it actually says that this should be the level of significance. So this is my significance level, okay? That's brilliant, okay? So there's the information that's been provided, okay? Uh, the key thing to know is that these two positions here, the 1,000 and the 400 are tightly coupled together, okay? That's my sample information, okay? So everything else, that's my significance level. So everything else must be just something to do with my population, okay? Now that's a percentage. So that's that's a percentage. A percentage that's like that's like forty four over that's like I suppose as a percentage in a decimal form, that's zero point four four. Which is the same as forty four over a hundred or four hundred forty four over a thousand. So it's a proportion. The percentage is a proportion, so that's a proportion. And more importantly, that's going to be our population proportion. Yeah, if that makes sense. Okay? So actually, in this particular test, we haven't been given any averages, we haven't been given any mean values, we haven't been given any standard deviation values, all we've been given is, is effectively frequencies, how many clients there were, how many of them clients satisfied a particular condition as in wish to travel to Europe, okay? That's all we've been given. So actually all we've been given is proportions, and in particular what we have is we have sample proportions, yeah? So actually in this particular case here, this particular test okay, is talking about a proportion. We're going to test this proportion here, this sample proportion, yeah, okay, against this 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 population proportion. So just assigning our symbols, okay, our symbols, this is our alpha value, okay. The sample proportion P, okay, is going to be equal to it's equal to the number of favorables, the number of successes, 400 over the total number of possibles, which is a thousand, okay? And let's keep in mind that that is 
that's 0. Point, that's 0. 0.4 okay that's 0. 0.4 as a proportion okay and then we have here is our population proportion okay uh, this is the behavior that's been going on up to this particular moment in time we have the population proportion which is symbolized by by pi okay and that's equal to 44% which is 0. 0.44 as a decimal okay so this particular test that we're undertaking here yeah is what's known as a single sample test of a population proportion so this is a single a single sample a single sample test okay okay of a population of a population proportion 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 Okay. And actually, there's a specific test statistic for this is the Z statistic. Okay, so our test statistic that we're going to have for this is a Z statistic, and it's simply equal to well, what it's equal to, it's equal to the 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 evidence, the sample proportion value minus the population proportion. Okay, that's by some pi. Actually, so you see what is the distance? It's how far is the sample evidence away from the population proportion? Yeah, all relative to a standard error. Yeah, okay, or a standard deviation, which is the standard deviation of a particular sampling distribution, which is defined to be the square root. Okay, the square root. Now, there's many ways that we could write this of pi, the proportion times one minus pi. Okay, divided by the sample size, which is small n. Okay, so that's our test statistic. So let's set up our hypothesis. So once again, our hypothesis test. Okay. So the hypothesis, the hypothesis test. Okay. The hypothesis test that we're going to undertake. Okay. It has five steps. Step one is to define the hypothesis. Okay. And the hypothesis has two positions. It has a null position, and it has an alternative position. Okay. Now what we always want to try to prove is always in the alternative. So what is he asking us? He said, does this suggest that the proportion wishing to travel to Europe has now fallen below? Fallen below means less than. So what we're saying is, and don't forget, a hypothesis is always a statement about the population parameter. So really what we're saying is, is there evidence to suggest that the population parameter has fallen below is less than 44%. Actually, that's what our null position is.